In this lecture, I want to teach you how to add additional elements according to the script. We will add the flag, the TV, and the dates. Why did I divide this slide into two? One of the absolutely most important things if you do any kind of video, not only in PowerPoint, any kind of video, is looking at the script. Of course, you need a script at first. I have a simple script here. I will just copy it down. And the first sentence goes, in Iceland for more than 20 years, from blah blah to blah blah, by a decision of the government, on Thursday, television didn't air. You need to segment this into a couple of pieces and imagine what you will put on the slide to animate it. I wanted information about Iceland. This will be number one. I wanted information about years. It can be text or some kind of element as well. So I have number two. Number three is government. And number four is television or a Thursday. So I have four elements here to animate. This is pretty much, you don't need to animate everything if you create explainer videos, but here I wanted to have four elements. So it's really nice to divide it by two to have those objects. What I've selected, I selected a flag, I selected this television icon, and I prepared an X sign. I will just copy those elements. If you want to download them manually, you have sources, for everything that I downloaded. And if not, you can just search Google for legal items you can use. And let me position those items first. At first, an information about Iceland need to emerge. In Iceland, blah, 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 for more than 20 years, blah, blah, blah. So the years should be maybe on the right side. For the years, I've selected insert, text box, where are you, text box? Okay, I've created a text box and we have years 1966. I hope they are precise to 19, to 1987, 1987. At first, I'm creating them in one box. I will maybe separate them, but that in a moment. Of course, text should be white because we have a dark blue background. I want to center them and I want to make this really, really big. Something like that. Around 100 points should be okay. Now you need to decide for yourself what kind of font you want to use. This would be one of the fonts that could work. I used a different font, but I, if I look at it now, Bodoni looks really beautiful. So I will select this font. I will make it a bit smaller and this looks really fine. If you want to animate everything separately, that is what I recommend. I would duplicate this three times and here I would just have this. Here I would just have the second years and here I would just have the first year. So this would be really nice to animate because I have three separate objects. If we read the line along, blah, 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 by the decision of the government on Thursday, television didn't air. So I wanted to put a TV with Thursday on it. I will make it bigger so it matches the flag. And I want this X sign to be somewhat something like that. This is the design part of this slide. I can make this X a bit bigger. With my shift key selected, I'll make this X sign a little bigger so it covers the TV. And if you wonder how I made this X sign, I just created two rounded rectangles like that. And I just move them over, control D, move them over. And this is how you create basically a simple X sign. Change the colors and everything would be done. This slide is in my opinion prepared for animation because we've put all the elements a good explainer video should have. In the next lecture, I'll show you how to professionally animate a slide like that.